नमस्कार आई विल डिस्कस द टुडे आई विल डिस्कस द एग्जांपल्स ऑन रिजिड बॉडी इफ द रिजिड बॉडी विद वन पॉइंट फिक्स और फिक्स रोटेट अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस ऑफ द बॉडी देन शो दैट काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द बॉडी द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द एंगुलर मोमेंटम आर कॉन्स्टेंट थ्रू आउट द मोशन सोल्यूशन The kinetic energy of a rigid body with one point fixed is given by T is equal to one by two I x x omega x square plus I x y omega y square plus I x z omega z square plus two I y z omega x omega y and so on. Where I x x I y y I z z I x y I y z I z z x are the components of the inertia and product of uh, inertia about the coordinate axis respectively if the body rotates about the principal axis then the body then the product of inertia tensor are zero and the moment of inertia tensor are constant in this case the kinetic energy becomes t is equal to 1 by 2 I x omega x square plus I two omega y square plus I z omega z square where I one is equal to I x x I two is equal to I y y I z is equal to I three is equal to I z z. In the absence of the Euler's equations of motions of the of the rigid body are given by I one omega x plus I two I three minus I two omega y omega z is equal to zero. I two omega dot j y plus I one minus I three omega x omega y is equal to zero. I three omega z plus I two minus I one omega x omega y is equal to zero. Multiplying each of equation in three by omega x, omega y, omega z respectively, and we get one by two d by d t of i one omega x square plus i two omega y square plus i three omega z square is equal to zero. d t by d t is equal to zero. Therefore, t is equal to one by two. One i one omega x square plus i two omega y square plus omega i three omega z square is equal to constant. Now we claim that the magnitude of the angular momentum is constant. Hence, the mo moment of inertia tension with respect to the principal uh, axis of the body is given by. Tau is equal to I one zero 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 I two zero 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 I three, where I one I two I three are constant with respect to the principal axis of the body. Hence, the expression for angular momentum becomes L is equal to I one omega x I plus I two omega two j plus I three omega three k. L square square is equal to L L is equal to I one square omega x square plus I two square omega y square plus I three square omega z square. Multiplying each equation of three by I one omega x I two omega y I three omega z respectively and adding we get I one square omega. X omega y i two square plus i two square omega y omega z omega y and l square is equal to constant. This shows that the magnitude of the angular momentum of the rigid body is constant, and this is.